Coach, I uh, had to be impressed with the intensity right off the bat for you guys. I, 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 I totally was. Totally was. So that's, I haven't seen that in practice. I had, <laughs> haven't seen that in a scrimmage. Uh, but I guess there were flashes of it in the exhibition, but uh, uh, not many. So, I mean, I was very concerned coming into this. We beat a really good basketball team today that I think will, will win their league and advance on the NCAA tournament. And, and uh, I just thought our approach was terrific from 1 through 12. We've got some huge, huge uh, games. I mean, Larry Gregane has changed that game just with his defensive pressure. I mean, I, he's rapidly becoming probably one of the better on-ball defenders in the country. I mean, when he gets into you, it, it disrupts a lot of things. And uh, I, I thought he was terrific. I thought, obviously, Austin is a, is a gamer. Was, he didn't look like that in practice. And, uh, uh, and then I thought Pargo had a, had a heck of a game just managing the whole thing at the point guard spot. And Matt, Matt uh, Bolden showed an unbelievable amount of courage and uh, toughness. That ankle was double the size on uh, uh, after the game on Wednesday, and it's slowly been coming down. But I mean, that's not easy to come back. That was a severe ankle sprain, and he gave us major minutes because we're a little bit depleted at that spot now. Can you talk about defensively what you have to get done on their big guys? I, again, I, I think, Jim, it starts on the perimeter. I mean, Larry had them stretched out so much, and Jeremy had them stretched out so much, that then those passes were were uh, harder to, to uh, find by their perimeters. And so we kept the ball out of there a little bit better. But I thought Cuso battled his tail off. Uh, you know, Pendo, as you guys know, is always Pendo. And, and then I tell you, Austin, for his size, uh, uh, really battling. So I thought we had, uh, you know, great job by all those guys. Because those two bigs, are, I mean, those are all league type bigs, and they really know how to score. Uh, Montana's always been known for you know, those big, rugged guys who can catch on the block and score, and they do a great job of uh, developing that. Excuse me, for me, two guys. DP, anything? Um, yeah, just <laughs> you've seen a lot of openers here. Were you surprised that, that at how well you guys played in an opener? Because you always talk about playing your best basketball in February, March. Looked like you guys played pretty well. Well, I mean, I wish we played every day. I mean, I wish we every game. I wish we played our best, but that's probably not realistic. So, yeah, I, I, I'll be honest with you guys. We have not shown that, you know, for long stretches in practice or in our scrimmage uh, that we had. And, and so it was great to see. I, uh, I've been concerned about this group with their listening ability, and they took Leon's scouting report to heart and really did a, just a, as good as any group we've ever had, uh, uh, really taking a team out of Because if you let Montana run their sets like we did in the second half when we dropped, we dropped our intensity a little bit, they, they were really good, really good. The guys coming in didn't just hold survey. I hope so. I mean, I hope. I hope so. I think uh, uh, that's one of the areas that I think we're, we're we're better with. But again, with with Steven and Josh being out now, I mean that you know we're not as deep as as we were in Theo's situation. So, uh, uh, and then I was really concerned. I, I mean, we didn't know if Matt, I mean, if he was going to be able to play five minutes or you know try it for two minutes and then twist it again. So that was. That was nice to see him step up. What is Josh's status right now? He didn't play at all today. Okay, Josh's status is is this. We sat his stress fracture for about five, almost six weeks, and felt a little bit better. He, he, he was ready to try to start doing some things. We did some things. It's just it's remained a stress fracture. Uh, it doesn't hurt when he plays. We talked about not practicing and just playing in games. Uh, we didn't think that was a good idea, so uh, uh, met with orthopedics. They think if we put two screws in it, uh, it'll be you know, four to six weeks, and, and hopefully he can come back and fix it because rest did nothing for it. The only other alternative was to throw it in a cast, and, and we're not even sure if it came out of a cast if it would be. So those were kind of the things we were you know, playing around with even to the point, you know, where I mean, I, I wanted all the information was out. We wanted to leave it up to Josh. I mean, we wanted to even play tonight or something, you know, and then have the surgery. But uh, I think it's, I think everyone kind of agreed this was the best course of action on kind of a tough situation. So, so what we saw tonight, your lineup will be kind of what it is without yeah, it? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. For him and then Steven's wrist ended up being broken. We did not think it was broken. 
Uh, we thought it was a bad sprain and it kept bothering him all the way into uh, Friday night. And so they took a bone scan and sure enough it was broken. So they're going to put uh, two screws in that and he's probably out six weeks or something. So. And then Theo's got a situation, his father's gravely ill and he had to run back to uh, uh, back to Toronto for that. So all that depth just poof, <laughs> just like that. That's the way it is sometimes. Did Josh's foot not react well from the playing or did it go to a stress fracture instead of a stress it, it, it actually, they now have said in, after further review of the MRI <laughs> that he indeed had a stress fracture before that they didn't really maybe get a great look at. So um, it just, it just kind of stayed the same. So, and it was still kind of bothering him. It did not hurt when he played the other night. Um, but then right after he was pretty uh, uh, point tender. So it just wasn't healing. And then, you know, there's a, we talked again about just prac not practicing and playing in the games, but if it broke, then he was out for the whole year. So we had to really, really kind of play the odds. So this gets him back, if it works, gets him back if we're late, right around that time? Well, I mean, you guys can do the math better than me. I mean, I, you know, this uh, four to six, I mean, if you're an optimist, it's four. If you're a, because it was the eight. Eight, if you're a realist, it's six. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't believe in stress reactions and stress <laughs> fractures anyway, so you're asking the wrong guy. DP, you got probably seven or eight of them yourself. I got three. You're right operating now. just fine. So. Is there a procedure set, coach, or not yet? What's that? With, with Josh, is, is there a surgery scheduled? Or is yeah, there... yeah. I think he uh, tomorrow he's scheduled, and Steven right now the following day. So that's the plan. You talk about Austin's performance then without Josh. Obviously, he's going to get more minutes. Yeah. And deserves them. Yeah. I mean, did. did it, no, I mean, he's, uh, you know, I think our staff's been talking. I mean, guys, he has not looked like that in practice. Now, part of that, I think, is Pendo's just been fouling the living daylights out of him nonstop from the start of practice to the end of practice for five weeks. But uh, uh, he's a gamer. He was a gamer in high school. Uh, his father's here right now. I think he's been a gamer since he was, like, a second grader. So, uh, you know, it's one game out. Uh, but it, it was an incredible uh, opening act, and, and he's... He's getting better step by step. We noticed the difference this week after the Emporia game. He made a jump in the Emporia game. Uh, so he, he's very much a work in progress, though, guys. I mean, trust me, this isn't, you know, he's still got a lot of things he's got to do, but it was a phenomenal uh, opening act, I can say that. Wow. Wake, wake step against the Yakima Kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was trying to think of another guy. I mean, I don't even think Adam came out like this in his opening act, so. Does Will's uh, Will Foster's status change at all? Or? Yeah, it, I mean, it goes to the depth. With, I mean, we go, we're going to have to play Will now. And, um, you know, he got in there today, and I think he once he keeps getting his uh, uh, feet wet, he'll get more comfortable. Uh, I mean, he can really, really make life difficult around the block. They're just playing behind guys. and uh, We just got to get him up to speed on offense. So, get a quick turn around to Idaho. What do you yeah. do tomorrow? Other than send half your team to surgery. <laughs> yeah, uh, we gotta we gotta really get them amped up and up to speed. They're gonna have to do the same job, listening and concentrating that they did for these guys. Because Idaho is coming in here on a roll. You know, George has got them some real positive uh, feedback with their fall trip to Canada and then with their scrimmages and exhibition. They've just been rolling guys by 50, and and uh, they've added some real talent to the roster and. and uh, so they're coming in here on a roll, and, and George knows our program better than uh, any, and probably knows how to use the kryptonite, I think. So he'll try to use it, and we'll see where we end up. How much better are you equipped to handle some, you know, loss of guys, of big guys, good players this year compared to some of the other? Well, players? it was, it's, we handled it, but now we're not a deep team anymore. I mean. It, we're not we're not deep at the guard spot now, and we're and and you know what, guys? Steven was playing as good as I mean anybody in our program almost. Uh, he had really really made some strides. He was knocking on the starting lineup, and uh, uh, it's a shame because he was he was off to a great start. I mean he was far farther. Or that's kind of a double negative or something. But he's much farther along than Austin or Rob was. Uh, you know, 
coming into the week. So.